Ladies and gentlemen, with great honor, I announce to you that the Lifetime Achievement Award recipient for the Zayed Future Energy Prize 2015 is former Vice President of the United States of America, Mr. Al Gore. difference of opinion within the scientific community. The greenhouse effect is real and is already occurring. Climate change is a dangerous threat to our nation, to our planet. We have little time to lose. Climate change is a defining issue of our time. De la planète. Climate change is a long fight. It's a generational battle to shift our economies and societies. I don't have much patience for anyone who denies that this challenge is real. We don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society. When we decide to really face this challenge, can we solve it? And I have good news. This is world solar photovoltaic production. It is going up so rapidly. Look at what is happening in so many parts of the world. New business models are appearing. New financing arrangements are appearing. This is an unstoppable revolution. After the last no comes a yes, and on that yes, the future world depends. We will succeed in this task. Vice President Gore has been working on sustainability in a coherent way since the late 1970s. As the climate issue has evolved, he's been the leader of each stage of the evolution. He's a leader of that stage now. Vice President Gore deserves the award because of his current leadership on climate change around the world. Well, I think the Zayat Future Energy Prize can make it possible for us to do even more in raising consciousness and building awareness of the need for bolder political action around the world. I visited Abu Dhabi recently, and I will say in all sincerity, I'm extremely impressed with the commitment of the leadership of the United Arab Emirates. And I know that uh, Sheikh Zayed uh, founded uh, this way of thinking and this commitment to a positive vision for the future of the world. So many have contributed to the record we have made for the American people, but one above all, my partner, my friend, and the best vice president in our history, Al Gore. But my work is just beginning. We have so much left to do. After all, the world is going to say yes, and we will prevail. Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, at this time I would like to invite His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan to come onto the stage to present the awards. I would also like to call on His Excellency Dr. Sultan Ahmed Jabbar, Director General of the Zayed Future Energy Prize, to join us on stage. And the first award of the night will be presented to Mr. Al Gore, winner of the 2015 Zayed Future Energy Prize Lifetime Achievement Award. This award carries uh, Sheikh Zayed's name. Uh, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayyan uh, founded uh, the whole initiative that has uh, been so inspiring here uh, to Your Highness, Your Highness, uh, uh, to the President's heads of state here, Your Excellencies. Um, I accept this on behalf of the Climate Reality Project and 
other activists around the world who are attempting to move this transition forward. I am indeed extremely impressed with what the United Arab Emirates has been doing, uh, with what uh, Abu Dhabi uh, has been doing, uh, with uh, the Mazdar city, with the solar projects, uh, with the initiatives all around the world. This is a moment of danger, but it is a moment of hope and inspiration. We have everything we need to solve this crisis, with the possible exception of political will. But political will is itself a renewable resource. Shukran. And now, on to our remaining winners for the day. The winner of the Zide Future Energy Prize Large Corporation category is... Executive Vice President and member of the Panasonic Board is being awarded for its work in solar research and development, as well as hundreds of products geared towards reducing energy use or facilitating the use of renewables. Panasonic is also a leading battery supplier in both the electrified transport and stationary energy storage space. Congratulations to Mr. Yamada and to Panasonic. Our next category, the Small and Medium Size Enterprise Award for 2015 goes to M. Copa Solar. Congratulations. <laughs> Receiving the award on behalf of M. Copa tonight is Mr. Jesse Moore, Managing Director and Co-Founder. M. Copa is being awarded for its innovative pay-as-you-go energy services for off-grid customers, combining mobile payments with GSM sensor technology. Congratulations to NCOPA. We're happy to have His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum with us on stage and His Excellency Mr. Abdel Fattah Al Sisi with us as well. For our next category, for our next category, the nonprofit organization, the winner of the 2015 Side Future Energy Prize is Leader of Light. awarded for its unique day and night solution. It provides passive daylight as well as charged evening solar lights such as lanterns, house lights, and street lights through local skills building. Leader of Light is represented tonight by Mr. Ilak Diaz, Executive Director.
Global High School's winners, which is our next category, and which we are very honored to have. For the Americas, the winner is... The Monroe Academy from Canada. of Nova Scotia's Green Schools and will use the prize to engage students in creatively envisioning environmentally sustainable alternatives in the renovation of a 12,000 square foot surplus school building. the Petru Raris National College in Romania. Congratulations. <laughs> Petru Raris National College wants to use this prize to replace outdated lighting and building installation with more efficient materials and products and to add clean energy generating systems including PV and technology that can convert kinetic energy to electricity. Congratulations. The winner of the Zai Future Energy Prize 2015 is Waterport Kam Kamlava. Congratulations. The Waterport Kamlava in Swaziland plans to build a solar system for their IT lab, a biodigester for their school cafeteria, and teach the community about future energy alternatives. Congratulations. Oceania, the Zai Future Energy Prize Awards goes to Melbourne Girls College in Australia. The prize will enable the Melbourne Girls College to achieve its goal of creating a curriculum integrated, publicly accessible and interactive renewable education centre with five types of renewable energy generator. In addition, the project will help build the school on its way to becoming a carbon neutral school by 2020. Congratulations. Our last, last region in the category is Asia. The Zai Future Energy Prize 2015 is proud to announce the award to Adu High School in the Maldives. Congratulations! a 45 kilowatt solar installation that will provide the school with 100% of its power needs by 2015. Currently the project will save the school money, earn money from the sale of surplus power and raise awareness of clean energy and sustainable development amongst pupils. Congratulations. We also have the president of the Mount, ex-president of the Maldives, up on stage with us for the group photo.